crews to deal with an environmental disaster or terrorist attack. But the Americans don't have all the answers. They'll be taking home some Australian expertise. US EPA expert Richard Martin has responded to chemical emergencies for the past 23 years. One of those, the clean-up in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. The largest uh, measurable hurricane that you can get into a very large populated area and a, and a huge industrial complex. Now he's training West Australian crews on how best to respond to a catastrophe. Bioterrorism, chemical dumping, fuel spills, chemical fires, you name it. It those can happen at any time and we happen to have small incidents every single week. During the training, emergency services respond to a mock chemical dumping. Personnel are sent in with gas masks and special suits as they assess drums potentially holding lethal toxins. The US EPA is using the visit to swap expertise. WA's Department of Environment Vehicles have recently been fitted with new technology the American crews don't have. It helps monitor fumes as officers drive through an affected area. A complete sensor array on the top of the vehicle where we can detect chemicals as we're driving through smoke plumes and that information can be sent back to our office by uh, wireless link. The US experts now hope to take the technology back to the States. Chiara Zafino, 10 News. Australian researchers are turning to 